Hello and welcome to Tamar Caravan Centre. This video is for a demonstration and presentation on how to use the Swift Command Control Panel. So to use the Swift Command Control Panel, um, this little Swift emblem is the main power um, supply for the unit. So to turn it on and off, you press this button just here. Um, obviously, we've already got it on at the moment. Uh, so just to quick, give you a quick run through, this one up here with the little caravan, that's the internal temperature. This one here is the external temperature, and then you've got the humidity in the van. Uh, we've got today's date, the time, we're running on uh, mains power, and the leisure battery is good. I'm just going to run through these icons and explain each one as we go. Uh, so the first one is for the water pump. So to turn the water pump on, you simply just press that one, then illuminate, and obviously you can hear that the water pump is running. Uh, to turn the water pump off, you simply press it again. Don't panic if you forget to turn it off, it will time out after five minutes. So you literally just press pump off like that. So this next icon is for the awning light. Simply uh, turn it on and it will illuminate like that. To turn it off, you turn it off like that. Uh, the next one is for the um, lighting inside. So you press that one and these are what we call like the mood lightings around the top. So the van is split into two halves. You've got the rear of the van on dimmer one and the front of the van on dimmer two. Uh, so to turn the lights on and off, you can turn them off like this and turn them back on like that. Same with this side over here. Uh, these are also dimmable. So at the moment, uh, there are 100%, but you can turn them down by uh, just keeping your finger on the plus or the minus like that, all the way down to five. And then you can turn them back up again by holding down on the plus, back to 100. Uh, once you've completed that, uh, you turn back to the home page, just a little house in the bottom corner. So the next icon is the power. Uh, so you press on the power icon. So this one here is for the uh, voltage, and this one here is the ampage. So this is telling us what the leisure batteries got available at the moment and what voltage that we're running. Um, there is also the option for the solar panel. This one doesn't have one, also we're indoors at the moment. But generally, if you've got a solar panel, it'll be telling you what ampage the solar power is, is drawing in. Um, also, if you're plugged into your vehicle, and um, this will tell you what um, voltage that your vehicle battery is running at. Uh, the importance of that is that if your vehicle battery is weak when you start your journey, um, most cars take the primary feed first of all, so the alternator on the car is going to be charging the vehicle battery. Once that's topped up, it'll then flick over and start feeding uh, the caravan. Um, so if you've got a weak vehicle battery to start with and you're only doing a short journey, um, you might not get anything uh, coming across to, to the van. Uh, if you press on this little arrow just here, this will send you through to the next one. So this is tennis at the moment um, with the lighting and bits and bobs that we have running. Uh, we're currently using 5.4, 5.5 amps. Um, if you, uh, you can also set a limiter, an AC limiter. So uh, when you arrive to site, if you wanted to speak to service reception, find out what their site posts run at. Um, most in the UK run off a 16 amp. Um, so what you can do is you can set this one and you literally just turn it to um, whatever ampage um, that the site post um, has. So let's just set it to 16 amp. And um, the benefit of that is that if you are using the heating, hot water's on, you've got the fridge, TV, put a kettle on, all that stuff's going to be drawing. And um, if you put too much on, what would normally happen is you would trip the, the site post. Um, now what's happened is that this van won't let you use any more than the required amount that you've set there. So this van will only let me use 16 amp. So what it'll do is it'll momentarily turn off something it doesn't require whilst it feels the spike. And then once um, the spike comes down, uh, then it'll basically make sure that we're always under 16 amp. You can set that to whichever one you want it to be. Uh, go back to the PowerPoint there like that, and then return to the home page there like that. So the next icon we have is the heating. So if you select this one, uh, there's basically three ways you can operate the heating on a Swift command panel. Uh, so we've got manual, which basically means you're going to use the controller unit by the uh, heating manufacturer, whether that be Truma, like in this model, or Aldi. Um, there is also a timer. So timer means you're going to operate the heating system off the actual command panel itself. Um, and there is also the app option as well, which is available through the Swift command system. 
so there's also an app you can download onto your smartphone so you can operate the heating off the app as well. Um, so basically manual, use this one here. Timer is that you can set uh, more times on the Truma one, you only get to set one timer. Whereas on um, timer on the Swift command system, you can set uh, a couple of more options. Uh, and there's also the app. Uh, then you have on this one, what time you want it to come on, the temperature and whether you want the water on, uh, as the second timer, third timer and fourth timer. So the next icon is the settings. So select that one. Um, in here you put your, um, you can adjust the time. Uh, then you've got the date. Uh, the day. You can also um, brighten or darken the screen on this one here. Uh, you've got um, timeout, so this is for the screen itself. So if you've got someone uh, sleeping here, um, then five minutes is actually quite a long time while you're waiting for it to turn off. So you can change this to 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 30 seconds, a minute, back to five minutes like that. Um, if you wanted to control the command panel off using the app, uh, on your phone then you pair via Bluetooth uh, just here once you've paired you can then delete the pairing uh, just there as well there's also um, a beep so um, rather than having the panel so you can press these items and there's no beep you just turn the beep back on like that and there is also a night mode which will um, blank out this screen as well so the next icon is for the radio so you select uh, that one here. So this is all controlled off the com uh, command control panel. Uh, so you've got your mode, which is off. You also have um, FM. Uh, so to scroll through, you find the station that you want it to be. Um, if you wanted to keep it on that one, you just press and hold, and that will store that station into that memory slot. You can scroll through again, find the next one, and store them as you require, just like that. Uh, this one over here is for your volume. You can turn that one up and down as you require. Um, so that's for FM. Then you also have uh, DAB. Um, unfortunately, we're inside at the moment, so um, but normally that would give you a big list of um, available DAB stations. Um, you also have an auxiliary, um, which I'll come on to in a second, and then you can turn it back uh, to off there like that. Uh, just to quickly show you whilst we're here, um, this one is for your treb your bass and your treble and you can do the balance and loudness as well if you if you wanted to. So just coming back onto auxiliary, uh, which is this one here, the actual radio system is DAB and this is the uh, radio system just up here. So this is your 12 volt in, your speakers, the control and the um, aerial. This one here is your auxiliary in. So if you get a jack to jack plug, uh, pop the jack in there. You can plug that into your phone or uh, MP3 or um, whichever, and you can actually play uh, music from your phone um, through the system and then through the speakers on the van. So the last icon I'm going to show you is for the fridge. Um, so when it's illuminated, it basically means that it's on. Uh, so you can turn the fridge off up here. You can switch it onto auto, gas, 12 volts, so that's when you're towing, and you have the 230 as well. Um, so just to show you quickly, the fridge is on at the moment. So I'm just going to press these buttons up here and then you'll be able to see that they're adjusting. So at the moment we're on um, the uh, two for the setting. So up on the control panel, I'm going to change this one onto five and then you can see it adjusting down there and then you can turn it back down there like that. And if I wanted to change it onto gas, I can flick it over and you can see it changing onto gas or 12 volt or the 230 like that. So the last thing I'm going to show you with the Swift command system is um, that this is a touchscreen panel. Um, so um, with any touchscreen panel, sometimes you'll need to recalibrate the screen, which sounds quite complicated, but it is very simple to do. So for example, if you're pressing one of the buttons, it's not, just not doing anything, uh, you need to tell the screen where the buttons are. So to do that, you simply um, the lights are going to go out, so do bear with me a second. Um, you simply press and hold the Swift button here like this. Keep holding on to the Swift button for just a few seconds. And then on this screen, it will go blue. Just takes a few seconds to come up. It says touch the dots to calibrate. So you follow the dots. So there's one dot, two dots, 
three dots and that's recalibrated the screen. You simply press the swift button again, it'll turn all the lights on and then the screen will become a lot more responsive again.